Well, I could, uh, you know, go on and on about the stories of, like you said, uh, growing up. Um, but, of course, I was a young kid, and it was mostly just the fun memories. And, yeah, hearing Walt and others sing and coming to the studio and seeing the lights and the cameras, and that was all great. But, you know, you've shared all these stories all today and all this week, really, about over the uh, 39 years. And, um, you know, look back at things that happened many, many years ago and first starting out and, and difficult to get through. And, um, you know, I think people look at it today and say, oh, this is worldwide ministry and everything's going smoothly now. Um, so, you know, if I could, I'd share a story just um, from the past few years um, when I was up in Cleveland for probably about four years and met Heather. And, uh, you know, there were many times even uh, then where, Things didn't go exactly according to plan or, um, you know, and I think that God still is using um, people and uh, has still gotten us through situations. You know, I don't think any of us ever get to a point in our life where everything goes exactly like we want it to all the time. Um, but as you've been sharing, you know, I was uh, kind of thinking we, we didn't lose a tower. We did lose a tube, but... Um, you know, some of the things that happened was before we even got a studio up there, um, we were going and trying to get uh, pastors involved and, and people involved with us know, hey, TCT is in the area uh, now. And um, we had a little mobile production truck. We, we, you know, we couldn't have the full-blown studio gear because we didn't have the studio yet. And so we would um, go to different churches that would allow us in to do programs and things. And I remember one time we were set up to do a program and the morning we were set up to do it, um, the pastor canceled. If I remember correctly, he had some sort of um, dental emergency or something where he had to, he wasn't going to be able to be a part. And we couldn't use his church to do a program without him. We weren't going to be able to get in. And um, so, you know, it wasn't like... Uh, you know, here at one of the studios that I had grown up in where it was real easy to just do everything on your own. We were kind of relying on uh, people. And um, actually, Heather's uncle, I didn't know Heather yet, but her uncle's a pastor and kind of introduced us. And I called him and uh, I said, hey, you know, we have to do a program in a couple hours. The church that was uh, going to let us... Uh, do it, you know, canceled on us and, and we can't get in and there's nowhere to do this program. And uh, he said, well, I'm out of town, but you know what, I'm going to do whatever I can to let you use our uh, church and uh, we'll see what we can work out. And so he kind of at the last minute, even being out of town, um, called up some of his people, got us in. And by the time we were supposed to do that program that day, we were in the church and set up and, and got the program up and going. And um, like I said, it wasn't quite a tower falling down, but uh, I think it's good to re you know remember that even even now that we've been around 39 years, that uh, you know God's still using people. We wouldn't be able to do it by ourselves, and uh, you know I want to encourage viewers with that that you know we continue to um, use your support to keep it going, continuing to expand uh, the prayer lines. We've heard some of the stories and testimonies today, and. Um, we can't do it alone. Even after 39 years and everything that God's uh, brought us to at this point, um, we, we still need help. To find out more about the TCT Network, visit us at tct.tv.